What is up, Wild Squad? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to do just what I said in the title. We are going to talk about the best sniping filters in Madden 21 that I personally use to build my coin stack. I don't have a whole lot of time to spend on the actual game nowadays with a new kid and all that. So what I do the majority of my time is I just work the auction house. I flip cards, snipe cards, sell them for a higher profit, all that stuff. That is how I make the majority of my coins because I just can't grind out the game as much. So it is definitely the best way to make coins in Madden 21 is absolutely guaranteed. But we're going to go over some of the best filters in the game right now, right after a quick word from our sponsor. Boys, if you're looking to add that brand new shiny player to your team in Madden, don't gamble with packs. Hit up Red Zone Coins for cheap, fast, reliable coins to help build your team. Use code WAS to get 20% off your order. All right, as we go to take a look at our first filter here, don't forget to subscribe with that noti bell on if you want to see how to build your coin set, build your team up, all that stuff like player rankings. I do a lot of that on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed so you can see all that in the future. Also, I want to say I'm probably going to be going live shortly after I put this video up, maybe like 15 or 20 minutes after uh, this video goes up. I'm going to be doing some of these sniping filters. I'm going to be doing weekend league for the first time in like two months. So if you want to stop in for that, it will be here on YouTube. So feel free to come hang out with me on that. But the first one we're going to look at here is the 82s. Now, if y'all don't know about sniping, we're going to it's going to do a brief overview of it for these filters but really we're looking at 82 overalls here first so i get a ton of questions all the time about what are the best filters how do you find a good filter all that because it's always changing you know the filters uh that i use right now might not work in a couple of days and all that so people are always asking how do you find them it's pretty easy so really what you do is you filter down by overall first thing and then you either filter down by like program position team things like that what we're going to look at right now for this 82 overall filter is we're going to go to the campus heroes program because this is one that just came out a couple of days ago this would not be a great filter uh the day that campus heroes came out because these cards were selling for like twice as much when they first dropped but now they've uh, dropped in price a good bit because people are still ripping packs they're about 4500 actually hold on let me go back really quick so 82 overall here this is what we're going to be selling them for you're not going to be selling them for 4500 like we just saw those guys here so 82 is overall i don't care that all of these guys are campus heroes the thing is when people are going on the auction house and they want to buy an 82 for a set or whatever it may be they're going to go on the auction house and they're going to buy the first 82 they see they're not going to filter down and get the cheapest price so what you want to decide you de your deciding factor of where you actually sell this 82 out assuming you're able to snipe you go down like three or four rows if you're on the console uh and this is kind of where you decide so like 5100 is what i would sell mine for after tax has about 40 so we'll say 4500 so anything 4500 and below is going to be a profit if i'm able to sell it for 5100 so then we're going to filter down a little bit more by campus heroes and this is decent this is a deep decent filter but it doesn't really get me down as far as i want to go like i said 4500 that's actually not a bad one there with dave pollock let's see if we can buy it really quick 3600 Yep, we got them really quick. Okay, so 3600 selling for 5100 That's about a 4500 That's a profit. So we just profited, uh, what, like 900 coins or something? Not bad at all. But what I really want to look at, you can see that was just kind of a lucky one right there. Most of these guys are at about 4500 so we would just barely be making a profit very small. You don't want to invest in that if you're only going to be making a couple of coins. It's not really worth it. So another thing that you can do is just filter down a little bit more by type. For these guys, I would go by position. I think that's the best way to do it. A lot of times, I like to go by team. Uh, but for this filter with the Campus Heroes, I like to go by position. So we're going to go, first of all, we're going to filter down just a little bit more by all offense and then see if we can get a little bit better. So 3,400 there. Uh, I'm not going to buy all these right now just on, in the video because it would take too long. But if you want to check out some of it on stream later, I'll definitely buy up like 20, put them in the auction house, and then go play some weekend league. So 3,400 is the best we have here. We see uh, the left tackle here. Chris Samuels is 3,400. So let's go down to left tackle and see if he doesn't happen to have an even lower card. Oh, my goodness. I am buying that one. That one's too good to not pass up there. At 1,900 coins. Okay, and somebody else bought him up before me. But you can see there, guys, the more you filter down, the better prices you're going to have. Another 2,600 one. And you can just go through all the positions here. Quarterback, halfback. But you can kind of get an idea by filtering down. You don't have to go position by position, all that. I would do like all offense first, all defense. See if one's a little bit lower or higher than the other. Uh, let's see. Dave Pollock was one that we got earlier for 3,600, which was a good snipe. It's still like 900 coins profit. But I, oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at how cheap people are selling these for, guys. Whenever you've got a new one like this, and people are going to be sitting on this filter because it is a bit of a newer one. So we'll go over some more. Uh, reliable ones aren't as busy right now in just a minute here but this is a really really great one okay so uh, we're still looking at campus heroes let's jump it up to the 92 overall so before we go and look at the campus heroes where i have it filtered down right here let's just go look at the base 92s without that filter on so again going down like three or four rows which is where you'll be able to sell it for uh, about 108,000 after tax i'd say about 97,000 is the bare minimum that you want to buy them for because then you'd be able to profit so i need for around 90,000 or though to buy these because if they're going to sell for 97,000 roughly after tax then that gives me about a 7,000 coin profit obviously that's a much bigger profit than what we were just looking for the 82 but we're investing a lot more so that's why we want to do that okay so now the program we're going to do the exact same thing with the 92s because the campus heroes are the 92 overalls so 108,000 is what we're looking to sell for uh, that's pretty good 83,000 there and then let's filter down even more guys these are actually these are really hot right now we're gonna we're definitely gonna be looking at these a lot on stream 70,000 
Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> Guys, these are hot. These were not this hot earlier when I was uh, picking out the filters uh, for this list. And these are these are really good right now. These are really great to flip. Because again, if you're if you're kind of confused, you'd be like, oh, why does why is somebody gonna go buy David Pollock for you know 108,000 coins if he's right there for 70,000? Because people don't understand how filters work. I, I promise you, it is crazy. They, these cards will sell, okay? So we're gonna go all the way back down to 92s. People, if they want a 92, again, if they're completing a set or they just want David Pollock or something, I swear to you, people will just go on here and they'll go find, they won't filter down at all. They'll go to 92s or they'll just type his name in and they'll go find the first one wherever he is. And he's not on here right now, but y'all get the point. People literally don't know how to use filters. If they want the first 92, they'll buy this one here for 98. Now, why do I go down like three rows or so? Uh, because all of these cards get bought up. You can see this one just got bought here for Nick Fairley. All of these cards will be bought when you're filtering down in the market it doesn't show you all of the cards that's why you're able to find snipes and everything so yeah at least the second row if you want to be a little ambitious you can go three or four which is what typically i do even the second row here though you could easily sell these for 107,000, no problem at all all right and i'm recording this late 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 friday evening but of course i'm going to be live right after this so if you want to go check it out and see if these filters are still good or anything they, they almost certainly will be and it's because it's legend saturday people are going to be ripping packs and everything so the next uh, filters that i want to take a look at are 89s overall now i don't love odd number filters because I'm lazy and I don't like scrolling uh, just to kind of get a base price. It's really not a big deal. I'm just very, very, very lazy, exceptionally lazy. So 32,500 is the lowest one here we, uh, we see right now. Go down a couple rows, count for the 88s in there. You could definitely sell these for uh, 33, 33,950. I always like to undercut it just a little bit. So if I wanted to sell mine for 34,000, I would sell it for 33,950. Also, you should definitely do this on the mobile app because it's a lot faster than the console. But 33,950 is what we're looking for. That's about 30 thousand roughly around there bare minimum two profits so we're going to be looking for like 26 25 thousand or so selling it at 33 950 and that'll give us about a four thousand coin profit again not quite as much as the 92s that we would be profiting but we're going to be profiting more than we were with the 82s because we're investing more we're investing 34 thousand coins or however or like 25 thousand coins however much we end up spending on it so 89s are always really good in 89s 90s 91s as we get more wild card wednesdays and that is why so if you're going down to the program here going down you got a couple different options to choose here with the 89s the heavyweights are always a really good one because you know the linemen aren't super popular cards typically rising stars all these cards uh flashbacks veterans people don't really let's just check uh, veterans really quick doesn't look like there's a ton in veterans and that's honestly because veterans really haven't gotten cards in a while so when they do get cards they'll be going down a little bit more let's look at some heavyweights here there's a little bit you know that's a little bit of profit that's about a two thousand coin profit that's not enough for me to want to invest right here let's look at rising stars really quick and then we're gonna look at the good one. Oh, there we got a good one there at twenty three thousand. that's about a uh, yeah that'd be 7,000 coin profit, not gonna invest, not gonna do it right now just because we're in the middle of the video, but that's not bad. We'll do, like I said, do a little bit more of these live on stream and everything, but the really good ones that I wanna go look at, and they're not gonna be the best for me right now, but on Saturday when this video comes out, they will be very good as the legends because already they're actually not bad. Also, also, I don't even know if I looked at that last one. Be careful you're not buying up 88s. I just looked at that one. I was like, oh, what a good price. It's because it's an 88, okay? So their prices aren't actually that good. The legends probably right now for me, are not going to be phenomenal. Let's see, where's the first 89 here? We're looking at 89s. And of course, you can do 88s if you see some good prices. Yeah. So 89s are not great. Our 89 legends are not good for me. It looks like the rising stars currently for me on Friday evening are the best. Uh, let's go check that one out again. 89 overall, 23,000. Sure, we'll buy it. We'll just get a snipe right here. We're going to sell them for like 30, 33,950 after tax. That's going to be about a 7,000 coin profit, 6,500 coin profit. Not bad. But the ones that y'all are going to want to focus on, in addition to rising stars, heavyweights, all that stuff, because you're going to be doing this on Saturday or Sunday, ideally. If you're not, then, you know, wait till next weekend to use the legends. But the legends are going to be falling in price pretty significantly uh, again always make sure that you're buying what you want because the 88s are going to be lower than the 89s of course but these are going to be dropping a good bit because people are going to be opening those legend packs for the new legends the problem is this year uh legends aren't always the best because we have the 50 and we're getting a lot of really good players out of the 50 that would typically get really good legend cards uh but we're not really getting anyone so i mean we're i don't even remember who we're getting tomorrow it's a couple of guys but people will still open packs because they're pretty good value you know you got content creators that are open on people want to do what they're doing so people will be opening those packs and trying to get cards and these prices will fall uh but these are this is definitely something you can filter down by and you don't have to do just 89s if you're actually looking at legends you can go of course go lower you can go like 85 84 all that stuff it's it's really just up to you what you want to snipe i really just kind of like the 89s because i can not only go through the legends but i can check the heavyweights the veterans the rising stars uh flashbacks all that stuff but you can definitely go down to lower ones if you only have 10 20 30 000 coins and you don't know what to do 
first of all, just go and play the game. You need to play the game head to head, solo battles, whatever it may be. And this is what you need to be doing as well, okay? If you've got 10,000 coins and you're like, I literally have no coins, I just spent it on the new Michael Vick that comes out in Zero Chill and I have absolutely no coins, go and buy some cheap ones, okay? Go start with like 80s and 81s. The 82s are really good ones right now. They're nice and cheap. Go and buy them up, flip them on the auction house. Don't get too terribly aggressive. You know, look for small profits here and there, especially if you have a low amount of coins. Build that up, you know, put them on the auction house and while they're on the auction house, go and play the game because you need coins to make coins, guys. I will always recommend keeping bare minimum 100,000 coins. You should have never dropped below 100,000 coins, in my opinion, because if you do, you're going to be struggling. So I could definitely go in right now and just spend a crap ton of coins investing on really expensive ones and probably get good flips. But let's just say the market slips a little bit for some weird reason, and I have to hold the cards for a little bit to wait till they uh, regain their value. I don't want to have to do that. So always keep a decent little healthy stack of coins. And those are basically some of the best sniping filters right now. But guys, like I said, I'm going to be going live sometime after this video goes up pretty shortly after when my kid goes to take a nap, I'm going to, I'm going to go as live as long as they are napping. So feel free to come join me. going to be doing some weekend league, uh, some sniping, all that good stuff. We'll be looking at some of the filters, how to make coins. Maybe talking about the coming weeks. We don't really have a whole lot of info coming up, but feel free to join me on the channel then. And thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all are the MVPs. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one.